what's good josh boy ross back at again with another video so shout out to everyone that was part of the live stream for smackdown tonight man shout out to the homie steve being able to join us dub everybody was in the chat we had a great time as always so you know i appreciate y'all joining in and we appreciate y'all being a part of it. it makes the shows that much better but tonight smackdown pretty enjoyable we gotta talk about of course jay uso letting everybody know that he's main event jay and he's here to stay we got to talk about that it was a great segment looking forward to what they're gonna have going on next week with jay and roman reigns having their little face to face but uh let's get right into it not even gonna waste y'all time because you know that's what i'm here to talk about so jay comes out there crowds chanting his name or whatnot well chan uso or whatnot and uh they start hitting him with the what chance even though that's more of a heel thing for the uh the crowd to do but you know after everything he would say he kind of played into it with the cadence of his promo when they start hitting the what chance um but it was weird because like i said it's a heel thing that the crowd would do well a crowd would do this towards the heels but they were still kind of cheering him and, and and listening what they were he was saying it was just i think i think the cadence of how he was saying it that's where they kind of went with the what chance but he was basically saying like you know pretty much like it, you know this this is one of those things where it it, it definitely it definitely hurt him it definitely hurt him what they did to jimmy uh before jay even came out there uh michael cole pretty much announced that jay uh uh well jimmy is gonna be out for the foreseeable future so that's gonna probably be implicated into the storyline of why maybe jay's gonna be doing this solo and he may not even uh have his brother back in time for SummerSlam. so we'll see how that plays out but that's their way of writing him off tv for a while from the vicious attack last week and he was just he was just hurt you can tell he was hurt he had this passion he had this anger it's like you took my brother you know what i'm saying you guys did this i don't give a damn about you know what i'm saying you know solo i'm gonna take care of you you know what i'm saying i'm gonna whoop you up don't worry about it and paul Heyman, you've been manipulating our family for years you've been the the cause of a lot of issues and you've been leeching off our family for years uh it's, you know i'm gonna definitely take care of you so jay made it his mission to let it be known that he is the tribal chief he's the head of the table main event jay is the head of the table going forward so i definitely like he added that he's now embracing that he's like you know what i'm gonna take over now because obviously you know solo ain't there and roman you don't deserve to be tribal chief anymore so i like the passion he was giving in his promo like just the hurt and the anger that he was dealing with and of course obviously paul Heyman comes out there with solo sokoa and i like what paul Heyman was doing here paul started to really i guess you can say heal it up he started to blame jay for what happened to jimmy he basically said what happened to jimmy is your fault you're you're not ready to be the head of the table you're not ready to be the tribal chief what happened to jimmy that's all on you you know what i'm saying and he started talking to the camera hey jimmy the reason why you're in the hospital is because of your brother and then he started getting real personal he said your father rikishi is not gonna forgive you your mother is not gonna forgive you like he really started trying to blame everything on jay and it was good jay pacing back and forth crowd eating it up you know what i'm saying you want to see paul get his comeuppance paul's you know keeps going on solo stops him picks up the microphone and and uh he walks up to jay and he plainly says i will never forgive you so solo and uh jay they start throwing blows man they're going back and forth and there's one moment where uh solo gets the best of them or whatnot and he ends up trying to hit him with the samoan spike but jay is you know aware of the situation and he was able to dodge it or whatnot he was able to get solo out the ring and there was a moment where like when uh jay was down solo ushers to paul Heyman to go get a chair so there's once he got the upper hand jay got the upper hand you see paul Heyman, you know what i'm saying bring the chair in or whatever and he's kind of like uh-oh and the crowd's going 
crazy, bro. Like it, it was, it, they they teased it twice, but he actually finally got his hands on Paul Heyman, hit my man with the CTE super kick. Chef's kiss, it was beautiful. Crowd going crazy, we going crazy on the stream. Love to see Cuckoo Kachu, the wall was to get his comeuppance or whatnot. Obviously, Solo gets back in, and then that's when uh, he ends up uh, picking up the chair, hits Solo with it, they roll out or whatnot, and they're they're scurrying away as, as, as Jay Uso stands tall with the dog in him. And I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, um, excited to see what happens next week going forward when we have this this uh i guess you can say this one-on-one -on -one with roman and jay the rules of engagement that's what they're calling it to see how things are going to play out at SummerSlam. What, what type of stipulation they have what type of rules will be in play so i'm very interested to, to see how this plays out but i love what they're doing with jay jay's coming out like this 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 aggressive underdog that's done taking the BS and he's going to take the fight to Roman. He's not looking weak out there. In all these segments, he looks like the aggressor. He's ready for the fight. He's ready for the fade. He's doing this for Jimmy. He wants to take out Paul Heyman. He he, he doesn't want to have to take out his brother, but he will if he needs to. And he definitely wants to take out Roman Reigns. And I love that. Like, nobody's safe. Not Solo, not Paul, and not Roman. And I appreciate what they're doing with Jay's character it's good to see it and i'm looking forward to seeing what happens at SummerSlam. so comment down below let me know what got uh what type of stipulation uh for roman versus jay do you think will happen man i, I want to see what creative ideas you guys have for their stipulation at SummerSlam because I, I don't think it's going to be a regular match i think there's going to be some type of stipulations involved here so let me know what y'all think but i appreciate all of them support road to 50k and i'm sitting on the speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all keeping me see y'all next one peace